I just didn't like standing out. And it was impossible not to because I was a head taller than everybody else when I was growing up. Diana Manuela, international best-selling author and creatrix of Elemental Woman. I support conscious and creative women entrepreneurs globally to awaken their hearts calling, lead with wisdom, and leave a legacy. So what did I do? I tried to make myself smaller. I began to hide, you know, which was very difficult because I was the sort of person that couldn't really hide. I was a fast runner. I was great at athletics. I was creative. There's a lot of different things I love doing. And so what happened is the girls were very bitchy behind their backs and they started judging me and they started pointing fingers at me and they started rejecting me. So a loneliness came over my life that I hated. So I began to hide more and more and more and shut parts of myself out. Later on, then, when I began to reclaim myself and also was very interested in starting creating my own body of work and uh, running a business, it was really holding me back. Because how can you share your work? How can you really bring yourself fully to anything if you are hiding? So for me, there was a lot in there. You know, that was a real survival pattern of feeling safe, being able to be part of a group, not being pushed out of my tribe. It was a very big survival pattern I, need to, I needed to overcome. And that was like a thread that ran through my life. Later on, I was kind of pushed out of my tribe because for religious reasons, I decided to go a different path and so on and so forth. Again and again, I needed to have the courage to stand out, to make a decision against my own tribe. It also took me a lot of courage. So we all have those kind of survival patterns and some of us, some of us are not challenged quite as much as this, but we nevertheless all have them. So what are, what are some of your survival patterns that are still in place today that are holding you back to reaching that next level in your business and in your life or that prevent you from more intimately connecting with your family member, with your partner, with your friends, with your colleagues, whatever it might be, just ponder on that because it's impossible for us to fully awaken to our heart's calling when our survival patterns are still active. Now from an elemental woman point of view, we have survival patterns in the different archetypes, in the different elements. And so when we are getting together uh, in our wise woman leader weekends, we really want to look at those survival patterns that are holding us back currently to go to the next level and fully awaken our calling. So if that resonates with you, I want to invite you, please join us one of the upcoming Wise Woman Leader Weekends, either in the Australia or in the US. I can't wait to support you and other wise women, other conscious and creative women entrepreneurs to fully step into their inner wisdom, step into their wise woman leadership to take their, their business to the next level. So if it resonates, please go ahead and press the button below. And I can't wait to see you there. Bye for now.